This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, how can you keep how can you keep defending Drake when he bowed out himself? Right? I'm not the biggest Kendrick fan. I'm not the biggest Drake fan, right? But in the battle, I was like, okay, Kendrick's been throwing uh, rocks and hiding his hand for years through many different beefs, right? So Drake was, I, I, I kind of like respected that Drake was like, all right, let's do this, you know? I'm calling him out. And I believe Kendrick's first couple disses weren't that great until, I mean, but certain things he was saying was, it was psychological warfare, you know? Like, I don't think Drake was playing enough psychological warfare with uh, Kendrick Lamar. Or, or Kendrick Lamar just wasn't listening to anything. Because it seemed like he just had a... He would incorporate a couple things into these tracks to make it look like he listened to them. But anyways, Drake waved the white flag on the hard part six, right? So it's like... How can you still call this guy? Yo, he's a he's a genius. If you Google the movie One Trick Pony, this comes up, and it's a movie. You know, it's like with Paul Simon and uh, they link it to the Kendrick beef. I mean, who cares at this point? It doesn't matter if like. Drake is linking this to the Kendrick beef and what the movie was about and all that stuff. It doesn't matter. <laughs> An aging rock star trying to put together a new le new album in the face of indifferent record label and talentless producer at the same time he's struggling to save his failing marriage. He's trying so he's trying to this is still a diss towards Kendrick. It's like stop Drake move on you lost you lost leave it alone you wave the white flag bro this is the second time you've done that so i'm just like eh. drake's just like you know he does he's dropped some hits here and there he's good at what he does and that's it and kendrick was more war ready than he was in this battle it just it's just a fact foxy brown so she could be, she could play a major role in Keefe D's murder trial for the alleged killing of Tupac. How? She could end up taking the stand. Um. In in this in Keefe D's memoir, okay. Oh, okay. He met with Eric Zip Martin, who claims he provided Orlando Anderson with a gun. Anderson has a long, long been suspected of pulling the trigger. In the killing, uh, killing Keefe D has since changed his tune about the story, claiming it was all a lie. There is a secret and delicate conversation is going to be had with Foxy Brown, the witness at the trial. I think she was with Zip. Well, she was. <laughs> what people, what they have to realize is that Foxy Brown was smashing a lot of dudes. She, Foxy Brown, would have sex with guys like she was a dude, like like m meaning. Um, there was no like emotional attachment. She was just like collecting them. <laughs> okay, uh, she could prove vital information taking the stand. Blah 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 blah. I was even there. Let's see if we can benefit from their case, and it would destroy Keefe's defense. And there's no evidence I was there, which presented his lawyer in recent weeks. Keefe D appears in court. Brown has many delicate factors to consider before we're going to take the stand. Being in this trial would bring a lot of eyes on her, not necessarily present on her right now. Second, the characters she was socializing with back then had varied backgrounds and lifestyles. She's not going to take the stand and help anybody with this. Foxy's just not built for that, but they're, they're going to try. And look what they're doing in the Young Thug case right now. YSL Woody, he refused to testify, right? He's pleading the fifth. They arrested him. And now he's in court like this, like, and they're like, yo, do you see Shannon in the courtroom? Do you see this person? And he's just naming three different people in the courtroom, not really naming the person. 
and not being so cooperative and guess we, th that 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 ysl trial is like you're gonna like you're gonna implicate young thug or you're going to jail and that's not how that's not how things are supposed to work so i don't know nba young boy the way i look at this thing where he's dissing floyd mayweather and saying like mayweather's against me f him uh we're supposed to be aligned and birdman never loved me this is him having like a hissy fit after being arrested again for his and, and really bro you can't feel bad for nba young boy he's had 30 million chances he got off on a drive-by shooting when he was younger. That would have been a wake-up call for most. No, he continued to do stuff, right? He likes going to jail, bro. At this point, you just got to realize, like, yo, this guy has a complex where he just can't. He's just going to keep going to jail, man. It's just, it is what it is. He's going to do what he wants, you know? Um and he's going to keep violating his conditions and keep going to jail. You know, that's what it is, man. And he's going to blame everybody else but himself. That's about it, man. Drake needs to come to terms with the fact that he lost, though. Let's be honest, okay? Uh, anyways, Jordan Tower with JT News. I appreciate you guys, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Um... Yeah, there's uh, the the weekend was a little dry. We got some stuff today. We got to get into some deeper issues, I guess, and get a different strategy going on because things are just weird in the news lately. But I appreciate you guys so much for watching me, and uh, I will keep you guys updated on the news and give you my perspective and give you just the the neutral perspective too. Because you're, we're, we might have different opinions on things, but that doesn't mean. We can't discuss them or uh, that I'm not always right. I'm open to being wrong, you know, and seeing different perspectives. And I appreciate you guys so much. Smash that like button. I hope you guys are having a good day, working hard, putting one foot in front of the other. And if you're not where you at, where you want to be in life, just keep trying. It's little baby steps. It's about the little wins, not the big wins sometimes. You know, sometimes it takes a series of small wins and steps to get to the big win of where you want to be it doesn't happen overnight it takes sometimes it what you do today doesn't pay off to a year from now you know always remember that it's never it's not over until it's over you know so keep working hard keep your head down and i know it's rough times now things are very expensive i feel it too trust me okay things are like double it feels like everything's double electric bills uh insurance uh housing prices it feels like if i didn't own a house i feel like i'm stuck in my house right now from the houses i have right now like from my the house up the street to this house like the houses that are in play they are they're not even moving you know so like i can't even relocate if i wanted to you know because prices are so high right now that like I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. You know, you can sell these and move to another one, but like, you, you know, interest rates are high. It's just crazy. You're kind of stuck right now and just, we got to get through this. So I appreciate you all. I'm feeling it too. And, um, I appreciate you all so much, man. You don't even know. Thank you. Peace.